Welcome back to the Express at the Burnaby Winter Club. We've got the little guys on the ice practicing some drills. These are the rascals. And we're heading into the net up next with today's Sierra Sill Giants Report. Meeting the Giants' number one goalie, Adam Morrison. The Giants Report is presented by Sierra Sill Joint Formula 14. Sierra Sill Joint Formula 14. Health you can feel. Vancouver Giants goaltender Adam Morrison has been with the team since October 2011 after being traded from the Saskatoon Blades. Being a Lower Mainland native, he says it's good to be home. You know, I got friends and family that come to every game, and um, you know I get to uh, you know, miss out on the snow, the minus 40 weather again, which is which isn't a bad thing. But um, you know, it, it's just been nice, you know, to have that support at every single game. Morrison was drafted 81st overall in 2009 by the Philadelphia Flyers, but wasn't signed onto the team. Although most would say being drafted into the NHL is every young man's dream come true, for this goaltender, it's all about where he is right now. This is my first year starting, so it's it's been sort of a new learning experience for myself. So um, I'd have to say, you know, just the fact that I'm now a number one goalie and getting a chance to prove that night in and night out, um, you know, that's probably the most gratifying thing that has happened over my career. From the time you take to acknowledge where you're going. Goaltending coach Paul Fricker works with both Morrison and backup goalie Jackson Whistle, and Fricker says he enjoys working with Morrison on his goaltending skills, but it's not all about hockey. It's been fun, uh, it's been rewarding, uh, I, I, I'm suitably impressed with him. Uh, he and I are, are, are kindred spirits uh, intellectually to, to some degree. He needs to keep going and he needs to keep developing and do what I just said a moment ago is look at his career in a long, uh, over the long term, take things slowly, continue to face and build uh, uh, the skill sets that need it. Morrison says that having the help of Fricker makes understanding the game much easier. Let's add a butterfly to the safes. Explains things very deeply and, and um, you know, he, he makes things really easy to understand and, and um, you know, he, he shows you a different side of the game that, um, you know, I, I haven't seen before. And right now, Morrison's goals are all about giving 100% and having no regrets. I like to, to compete for a championship more than anything, you know, um, I think uh, that would be the ultimate goal for this year. I just want to be able to to think back and know that I gave everything I had, you know, to uh, to the Giants organization and and my teammates to help them win. I'm Peter Verge in Vancouver for the Express. The Giants Report was presented by Sierra Sill Joint Formula 14. Health you can feel. Adam says his goals with the game are simple: to keep getting better and better and make his way back to the NHL. Now he's realistic. He says if he doesn't make it into the NHL, he'll probably go into the sciences or medicine and find his success there. I love it. Now this may make me sound vapid, but I have to be honest. Someday success for me is having a good hair day. You know, you curly haired people, you get me, right? Well, coming up, ET Canada's Erin Sebula is going to share her rather odd but effective defrizzing hair technique. Right now, we're joining the wedding bells in Whistler, where it seems Sarah may have found a trick to get Aubrey to tap into her zen instead of her zany. Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Wedding Bells. I just got engaged. And I did not. We're on an adventure to plan the big day. Thank you. We stayed at the Chateau Whistler Fairmont while researching unique stag and stagette ideas. So Aubrey's ancestors are Vikings. Yep, tough Nordic people who historically used saunas and a jump in the snow to cleanse and rejuvenate. Scandinavian Spa provides exactly this. Anik Aird explained. Hydrotherapy is where you take the advantage of different water temperature to warm up your body and release the toxin by opening the pores and then you quickly cool the pores through a dip in cold water and then you relax. The Scandinavian is actually welcoming many stagettes and stags. People need to relax and let go before the big event and this is where they come. And for all the single ladies, it's 50% men, 50% women. I started with the specialty Scandinavian Swedish massage. Oh, those Swedish make such good, cheap furniture and safe, reliable cars and really good massages. Our little 
Viking headed straight for the hot bath. And while I started my hot cycle, Aubrey was being too loud. Surprise, surprise. Then time for our first cold cycle. You gotta move fast. Aubrey's Viking blood was showing. Mm hmm We're tough. Not that tough. Next up, relaxation. Sarah, I think you just need to dunk under. It's part of the experience. You go hot, then you go cold. You go hot, then you go cold. Then you go hot, then you go quiet. No There's no way silence <laughs> is part of her ancestry. You have to be quiet here. There's a no talking policy. Finally, Aubrey's quiet. Ah, heaven. Time for round two. Sometimes censorship's a good thing. Ah, oh, what a wimp. Back to the silence. What are you thinking about when you're not talking? If you're sitting there thinking, don't you have a thought and then you want to say it? No, Aubrey, because we don't all have to say our thoughts. What are you reading? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and then magic, a sleeping Aubrey. I, on the other hand. Hydrotherapy had calmed this restless Viking soul. And this English rose felt like a queen. Anique said it best. We've built right in the heart of nature, and then you get to experience relaxation, enjoying the scenery and letting nature feed you. Scandinave Spa is perfect for a stag or stagette before or after the big night. And that night, we enjoyed the Fairmont fire pits, and then... For Shaw TV, where are the wedding bells? The Scandinavian Spa is a getaway in a getaway, and although it was obviously a little hard for Aubrey to stay quiet, definitely a unique place to take your bridesmaids or to go for a girl's getaway, although I bet the grooms would probably like it too. You're watching The Express, and this is what's coming up. Aaron said this was fun. Get slammed, then glammed on Rare Investments, The Good Life. <laughs> it's uh, the 7th of January is the last day. We say farewell as a Vancouver restaurant closes its doors after 63 years. I am very sad. It's where my buddies and I used to meet. The Express. We are your local voice. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by Hairstyling and color services for Shaw TV provided by The Lounge Hair Studio loungehairstudio.com Welcome back to the Express at the Burnaby Winter Club. This place is hopping this time of year with all the hockey action, but it's not the only place or the only way to get your heart rate up and put a smile on your face. With today's Rare Investments, The Good Life, we're spending an afternoon with ET Canada's Erin Sebula. She's got nutrition, fitness, even finance tips for us, along with insight into her hot Hollywood job. Rare Investment, The Good Life, is brought to you by Rare Investment Online at rareinvestment.com. The Good Life, it's not all champagne and caviar. Johanna Ward has your insider's look at the influential. And we're learning their secrets to the good life. To tell the stories of the stars, you need to be able to shine right alongside them. Bring that People's Choice Award home to Canada. Take ET Canada reporter Erin Sebula. I've covered everything from the Emmys to the People's Choice Awards, and I love the red carpet. You always look so amazing on the red carpet, so you I'm must sweet. have some pretty awesome beauty secrets. I have a few little tricks up my sleeve. She's known for her natural good looks and down-to-earth charm. Is that one of the tricks? This is a beauty secret trick, is the love? Oh, yeah, it's, it's dog saliva. It's very good for the skin. Still, the entertainment world can be a busy business of beauty. Erin Sebula has learned how to make the most of a meal in minutes. So you want me to drink my salad? Is this Absolutely. the idea? Absolutely. This is how it goes. If you don't have time to eat one, you just get it all put into one cup and you throw it back in one go. With your schedule, you must be so busy. Like, I don't know how you do it all. Do you cook at home a lot? A little bit. I try my best. Yeah. You use olive oil? I do, but I also use it for something else. I know it sounds a little bit weird. A little bit weird? Yeah. I definitely wasn't expecting that. No. Mm -hmm. Use it in your I hair. Do. I do. Olive oil is natural and it's relatively inexpensive. The next secret to staying red carpet ready, yeah. seeing red when it's time to sweat. One, two, sprawl. One, two. I work out with a personal trainer who kicks my butt. Pop up, a little clean. Clean, yeah, good. She likes to switch it up. She likes the challenges. She likes goals. She will usually get there kicking and screaming. Aaron said this was fun. You treat it like it's yoga. It's not really my kind of workout. I'm more into dance or yoga. 
But I think in the end, I redeemed myself. <laughs> Johanna's a scrappy little thing. I wasn't surprised, though. I knew she would bring it. But can Johanna bring it like Erin does when it comes to the most important part of holding your own among Hollywood stars? Well, you definitely have to step it up on the red carpet. Everyone is dressed to the nines, so I go big. I like this, but maybe just in a different color, something brighter. It's cute and bright would be good, but remember, we're going red carpet. We need dramatic, a showstopper. BCBG just have the best dresses. They have the best selection, and they let me borrow dresses because nobody needs a closet full of red carpet gowns, especially me. I've been on the red carpet with the Leos before, but I've always been styled by Chloe Angus. I've never had to style myself. This is dramatic for me. <laughs> we're going bigger. My dear, this is red carpet. Can we just take both and keep trading? Done. Yeah, done. Love it. Smart food choices, a One, serious two, workout, and a style that she owns without actually owning it. That's how entertainment reporter Erin Sebula juggles the demands of being red carpet ready. Rocking the red carpet. H to T, baby. What the heck is H to, H to T? It's head to toe. <laughs> <laughs> Rare Investment, The Good Life, has been brought to you by Rare Investment at rareinvestment.com. You can follow Erin on Twitter at Celebula to find out which red carpet she'll be on next. And you can also watch her upcoming Good Life features with award-winning blogger Miss 604 and the crazy comedian Patrick Maliha. And now for our final story on today's show, we say farewell to an icon in the Vancouver restaurant industry. Burt's Restaurant has been open for 63 years, and George Jolly has been coming here for 53 of them. Mm, probably since 58, 59, I was in the U.S. Navy station down at uh, NAS Whitby. I came up one day with a bunch of guys, and we were looking for a place to eat. George is retired now, but he still comes in for the people. The staff, they're really great people. And the pancakes. I think they make the best pancakes I've ever eaten in my life. But today, George found out Burt's is closing down. I saw on the door that it's uh, the 7th of January is the last day. I am very sad. It's, it's, uh, it's where my buddies and I used to meet and discuss the world. But George isn't the only regular customer who's sad to see it go. I was born and raised in Vancouver, so, you know, a lot of those pictures up there bring back memories. Marlene Cormack says Burt's feels like home. Here you get your regulars and you, you get to know people. People have a lot of memories from this place. Jerry Dakova says he just isn't getting enough customers these days and business is slow. He bought the place five years ago because he loved coming here himself. I was a customer here uh, for 40 years. I just wanted to keep the tradition going basically. They say all good things must come to an end and that can be said of Burt's restaurant. I'd like to thank all my customers. You know, it's uh, been a fun ride, but, uh, you know, unfortunately it has come to an end. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Vancouver for The Express. As for things coming up in the community, we've got ideas on that too with today's Express Spotlight. Eat the Street is fine dining with children. For the mere cost of a meal, this public event invites you to sit amongst the kids for a front row view of the youthful connoisseurs in action. It might be the most fun meal you've had since you, yourself, sat at the kids' table. Check out the Steveston Farmers and Artisans Market held inside for winter at the Gulf of Georgia Cannery. You can expect to find amazing artistry, plentiful produce, chefs in the market, and even entertainers. After a successful 30 years, the popular laser shows held at the Planetarium are wrapping up this January. This is your last chance to watch the run of this music with Visual's Laser Show at the H.R. McMillan Space Center. And that's it for today's show from the Burnaby Winter Club. Thanks for watching The Express, only on Shaw TV.